I'm your host, Triple C. How's everyone doing today? Today, we're going to be going over the Dragonfly. I'm going to be doing some fast appearances for the vehicles that have come out of this line so you can see uh, how they compare to the other figures and then uh, yeah, vehicles. And then we're going to go over the Dragonfly itself. Uh, first, we're going to go over his bio and then we're going to talk about it. I'm going to show you a picture of Dragonfly while I talk about it. Okay? Oh, and uh, I did change things but from the last video. I added those instead of the missiles. And I added the uh, winch there. Now, I'll show how that works in a minute. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Okay, guys. Here we go. Let's try to. Alright. There is one helicopter in the G.I. Joe Arsenal that pr proves a classic will always work. It has to be the Dragonfly, with the body and design based on the United States Marine Corps AH-1T Sea Cobra. With, uh, um, but with a customization of specials of the G.I. Joe team. The Dragonfly is tough enough to fly through almost any weather condition and operate the brightest day in the darkest night. Oh, it sounded like a um, green lantern there. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The Dragonfly sees two people and it has maximum load capacity of 9,000 pounds. It has twin turbine shaft engines. And I'll show those out in a minute. Um, allows to reach a speed of 220 miles per hour and goes as far as 510 miles. Primary offensive capability involves a multitude of missiles, including side random missiles, which is the big ones. Which are these. And I'll put that on in a minute. And let's see, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, and 25 millimeter volcanic chain gun with that uh, fires 1,200 rounds of ammo, which is this thing right here, I believe. Um, let's see, and a laser guided 160 millimeter cannon, which is this thing right here. All of that is supplemented by a pair of X551 mini cannons on, and an M34 grenade launcher. Both located at the turret section of Dragonfly is provided with a high resolution radar system and classified electronic system. Those are right here. Alright, let's go over. Size comparisons, and then we'll talk about the dragonfly a little bit. How's that sound, you guys? Let me put this missile on. All right, first up, stinger and or vamp. Let me so you can get a good view. Compare the two. That is the stinger. Or a vamp would be the same size, so you can get the idea there. Let's move this to the side. We got the tiger claw or ferret. This is one, two, three, four lengths of these things. That's how big that thing is. All right, and then we got the ram cycle, which is even tiny compared to this thing, which is a great scale. Now, let me grab one thing. I got please. Let me grab one more thing. Total level. So you can see how big the total level is compared to the dragonfly. 
No comparison there. <laughs> All right. That is it for the vehicles. Oh, wait. Um, I do have one more. Oh, let me grab... Uh, where did I put it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me grab my... Uh, Skyhawk. That is my Skyhawk compared to the Dragonfly. It is about half the size of the Dragonfly. Maybe I should be a little bit smaller. Well, well, it, it, it's, it's it's a little less than half. So, so I mean, it's yeah. All right, guys, let's talk about the Dragonfly, shall we? This thing is phenomenal. And I do mean phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, let me get these. Uh, yeah, the uh, belt fed turret for the turrets right here, which is really cool. We got the engine components, and these are on both sides of the Dragonfly. I'm going to show that off in a second. But, um, there are the chips and the cannon here with the grenades belt fed. You got lights on it right here and here. The cannon moves back and forth, up and down. Great range of motion for that. And on this side too, you have the belt fed ammo. And the engine there. We got the symbol for uh, G.I. Joe of the XH1. We got uh, dragonflies on the tails. Now, the tails are slightly different sizes, so you want to watch what you put, uh, which one you put on where, uh, as far as the inserts go. But you can close them up if you want like that. You have one open, two open, whatever you want. And then when you're winding up the, uh, um, the, uh, the hook and winch, you just gotta turn this part right here. And that will bring that hook up. Then, there are gold wing doors, if you want. I'll never use these gold wing doors. I don't want to break them. But I'm going to show them off once, and that'll be it. And I prefer to open it up like this. And then you get two seats in here. With heads up displays, and they light up really well. I mean, that is brilliant how they got that to work right. Now, it's brighter on camera than it is in real life, but it, I gotta say, it, it works. And then there is a spotlight down below here. And the batteries go right in here. There's a screwdriver. It takes uh, a size of screw. You unscrew it, and then you open it up, and it takes three double A batteries. And the button for the lights, let me put that down, is right here. Turns them off, 
So it's on. Turn the lights off. So you have just the uh, um, front lights on, the headlight, whatever you want. But yeah, I like having it on, but I'm not going to keep it on all the time. And the propeller freely spins. I mean, I'm honestly not sure which way the propeller is supposed to spin. I think it's supposed to spin like that. Kind of clockwise. But yeah, these are the sideboard and rules. And then you get these things. Which, if you take this off, you can see there's a slot there. And then... You can attach the missiles to the end, and it shoots off. That is freaking epic. You get two of these, uh, and you get four smaller ones for different parts on here. You can put them on the guns, the turrets, whatever you want. You get four more of them. But yeah. This has been the Dragonfly Guys. I wanted to show this off because it was, to me, this is a dream project. This, this has been an awesome piece. I did not think it would be this big, you know, when you're doing it. Because Dragonfly, when you are um, a kid, Dragonfly was not that big. It was surely was not as big as the um, Sky Striker. Um, so, can you imagine a Sky Striker being it? I, I'm starting to hesitate thinking of a Sky Striker now. I'd rather have them have the uh, Conquest. Because I think the Conquest would be the same scale as this, same size. Not scale, the same size as this would be. So that would be more feasible for them to do would be a Conquest. I don't think... A sky strike, a sky strike could probably be about four feet. The three, three and a half to four feet. I mean, this isn't three feet, but it is, it's big. It, it is huge. So, what do you guys think? You guys like this? And I will be having this in my display. I will be showing this off. And I will be using this in my little shorts. So, hope you guys like it. Hope you guys will want to see more of it. You all have a great day. This is Triple C. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Yo, Joe!